Meanwhile, a mysterious toxic gas continues to spread across the Pakistani city of Karachi. The death toll has now reached 14 and more than 100 people have been hospitalized. The Sindh province chief minister has ordered for the evacuation of people from the affected areas over the last 48 hours. 14 people have died due to this mysterious gas leak so far. Authorities have still not ascertained the nature of the gas or how exactly it leaked. A total of 150 people are currently in hospitals after reporting difficulties in breathing. The Pakistan state has closed its oil facility at the Kemadi facility. However, authorities say that this decision will not affect the flow of fuel supply in the country. Some of the journalists who are covering the leak have also been hospitalized. Two reporters from a Pakistani television news channel were shifted to the hospital after they lost consciousness. The investigators have hinted at a strong possibility of hydrogen sulfide gas being emitted from the Karachi port. And as per the investigators, all the people killed due to the gas leak had a history of asthma. Sindh province chief minister has said that the gas was spreading with the wind and was not showing signs of receding. The Karachi commissioner believes that the gas leak is coming from a ship that is docked at the port of Karachi. The ship was reportedly offloading soya beans or a substance similar to it. While the chief minister has ordered a thorough investigation into the ship and specifically the container that was offloaded. The mysterious gas leak in Karachi has now claimed 14 lives as Pakistan state oil shuts down the Kemari facility and journalists covering the gas leak fall ill, fall unconscious and get hospitalized. Our Pakistan bureau chief Anas Malik now joins us live from Pakistan's capital Islamabad with the latest on that front. Uh, Anas, uh, talk to us. Uh, this gas leak in Karachi has claimed 14 lives so far. It could claim even more lives. Uh, what are the uh, uh, actions being taken from be it the Sindh province authorities or the Pakistani federal government? Well, there are no actions that have been taken as of now, Krishna. Uh, since uh, the past two days, we've been seeing this quote-unquote mysterious gas leakage that has been emitting in the, the Kimari area around the jetty of Kimari, in precisely in Jackson Market, in uh, the railway colony areas. And people have been affected greatly around the railway colony in Karachi. It is a very prominent area. Jackson uh, Jackson Market uh, is uh, the biggest scrap market in Karachi. People from all walks of life they go and they collect their scrap they, if they want anything from the script they would go there regardless of whatever uh, uh, whichever section of the society they would be from so uh, that uh, that area has been affected and it's been 48 hours since this uh, gas emission has been uh, taking place now uh, most people who have been uh, in fact uh, I spoke to uh, Dr. Simi Jabali from uh, uh, Jinnah Hospital as well. She confirmed that uh, people who, ha who have been killed due to these gas emissions were those who were uh, patients of asthma and they had a history of asthma. Uh, additionally, about 328 people in the past 48 hours, in, pro uh, in, about, at about, uh, in about two hours, they would be marking uh, 48 hours. In the past 48 hours, 328 people had been brought in to the hospitals. Currently, as we speak, 46 are under treatment. 14 among these 46 are on a ventilator, so the death toll is likely to increase as well. That is what the authorities say. But since the past two days, we, when there was mystery all over, what is the sort of gas? Now the authorities are confirming that uh, 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 that there is a stronger probability of hydrogen sulfide being mixed in the air, and that hydrogen sulfide was being emitted from no nowhere else but uh, from a container that is parked within the port premises, within the Karachi port premises. Now that comes at uh, that comes in a stark contrast because yesterday we saw the Pakistani Minister for uh, uh, Maritime Affairs, uh, Ali Zaidi, denying that there was no, no emissions from the port. We saw the spokesperson of the KPT as well denying. But uh, yesterday, the authorities have brought uh, had brought in the Pakistan Navy's biological unit on board as well. And they brought in chemistry professors and professors, well, renowned professors on chemistry from the Karachi University to determine the cause 
and now the, uh, all, uh, 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 all the hints and predictions, they point that hydrogen sulfide was being mixed. And as we speak, there is nothing being done to contain this problem because yesterday, last night, in fact, we saw the, uh, uh, this gas or this, uh, uh, this poisonous gas, uh, uh, this gas being mixed in the air and spreading to areas as far as at least 15 kilometers to Ranchor line area of Karachi. That is about 15 kilometers. So that's, that's pretty far away. And we have seen that people were shifted from Ranchor line to, uh, uh, to hospitals as well, uh, as well, complaining of, the, uh, of, uh, uh, short breathing complaining of a stomach ache, complaining of a burning sensation in the right. eyes. We saw two reporters, two journalists, they had lost consciousness as well. Uh, but uh, now that seems to have finally been solved. The uh, investigators are saying that there is a stronger probability of the fact that uh, uh, hydrogen sulfide was being, uh, which was being emitted from one of the containers that was anchored at the Karachi port is the, right. is the cause of this gas leakage. Yes, Krishna. Anas Malik.